China is one of the biggest markets for U.S. universities, and the number of Chinese students studying abroad is soaring, but the U.S. attracts only a fraction of them. Now American colleges are trying to change all that. They already have the biggest number of satellite campuses and partnerships in China. And USC is one school that's investing time, money, and people. I spoke to President C.L. Max Nikias and asked what the University of Southern California is doing in China. Well, uh, we see that uh, an increase of international students uh, who want to come to the United States and pursue a degree in one of the American universities uh, like USC. However, I must tell you that for us as USC, we have been very active uh, in China and also many other nations of the Pacific Rim where we actively recruit uh, students. Uh, we have USC offices in Beijing, in Shanghai, in uh, Hong Kong, and many other nations of the Pacific Rim. We build relationships uh, with high schools uh, in China, for example. We also have something more. We have a very strong alumni base. And, uh, and that also helps, the local alumni clubs. Uh, they help us recruit uh, students. We also have international prominent people. So from China, for example, we have Chairman Fu, who is a graduate of USC. He's the chairman of Sinopec. Oh, one of the concerns a lot of students have when they come from overseas, their, their English skills might not be exactly the same. And there are some right. serious challenges. First, you have to get accepted to the university. That's, that's, that's one correct. thing. And even after that's you correct. get accepted, there are some cultural challenges, aren't there? We do have the largest enrollment of international students as compared to any other American university. So we have had a, a long tradition and programs in place that help international students adjust very quickly, well, including English remediation courses. If, if, if we were international students and we were graduating from high school, what is the most attractive element? I mean, how do you choose between whether it's UC, UCLA or USC or Harvard or Yale or any of the top schools or even the second tier schools? There's a lot of choices. Absolutely. What, how do you select that as a student? Well, as a student, you really have to select a school that has excellent academics because at the end of the day, that's why you're going to a university. You need to get a quality degree. And then I would choose a school that has a very strong network of alumni. Some people have said, because a school, not yours necessarily, but if right. you're, you're going after uh, foreign students and they pay a lot in tuition, but that also, that one spot takes away from somebody else, for example, let's say another Asian American who is applying for that spot. How do you balance some of that criticism out? Uh, we do. Uh, I'll give you an example. For example, in the United States, it's my understanding that probably 11% of the graduating high school students are Asian American. At USC, currently, 22% of our undergraduate student population are Asian American. So at least for my university, that doesn't apply. One of the trends that we see when we talk to other leaders of other universities is this collaboration with universities around the world, including yes. obviously in China, yes. whether it's Beijing, Shanghai, right. or any other city. And, and I don't think that trend's gonna stop anytime soon, but I wanna ask about your partnerships, what yes. works and what doesn't work. Well, I have to tell you, we have 38 different agreements, partnerships in place just with China. And uh, for example, we have a joint MBA program with Zhao Tong University in Shanghai, and it's been extremely successful for the past 14 years. Uh, we have a joint master's degree program in engineering with Tsinghua University. And in fact, I started this program 10 years ago when I was the dean of the engineering school. There are partnerships with our School of Cinematic Arts, which is the very best in the world, uh, and with Naga Film Production Company. And, uh, and also, we have a partnership uh, with the Chinese uh, Council of Scholarships, uh, where we jointly support 30 Chinese students every year that they come to pursue PhD studies at our university. And these are just a few examples that I share with you. If they want to go to a top university like yours, what should they study in and how should they prepare when they're in high school? We want students who are very well-rounded with other extracurricular activities. So we're not a campus that is a magnet of just what you may call nerds. We want students very well-rounded. And uh, therefore, I would encourage high school students uh, to pay attention to also extracurricular activities. Is there, is there a difference, do you see, between those Chinese students versus any other demographic? What stands out to you the most? 
I think what really stands out is uh, it's their experience. Uh, they bring a view of the world that American students or students from other parts of the world don't. Uh, 